So yeah, no, I agree. When a customer is looking for an internet, they might be looking for anything from a learning solution to social solution to static website. So we have very similar um, experiences, I would say, when it comes to that. But uh, today, um, I'm telling what we are focusing in and actually comes in the first slide. So we've been thinking like, yeah, we're bringing information into one place. Um, we're making workplace more social, more um, easy, simplifying things. But I think even though it's a little bit cheesy, our main mission is really to make work a happier place for the employees. Um, Happio is a Finnish company. So oftentimes I hear that, hey, Happio sounds like a Finnish word. It has a lot of consonants, a lot of vowels. Um, but actually Happio, so, so people are asking, is Happio actually a Finnish word? And um, Happio comes from two English words, actually. So happier people, so happier people at work. So it basically is a name that combines our mission as well. Uh, so, just a little bit about myself. Nice to meet you all. I'm a partner manager at Happio. That means that I work with our um, local resellers and local service partners all over, mainly in Europe, but a little bit globally as well. I've been with Happio since 2016. So, the same year Happio was actually launched for the first time officially. Um, I came here actually from Amsterdam, so I'm located there nowadays. But a funny fact, I'm originally um, from Finnish Lapland, so from the Arctic Circle. <laughs> um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about how Happio and Google Cloud are connected, because this is a Google Cloud breakfast, of course, and I understood that many of you are actually G Suite users, and you're here because you're interested in, in Google Cloud. So first of all, Happio is a Google technology and a SaaS partner. What it means is that Happio is built uh, in Google Cloud Platform. So we are also a, a major Google customer. And um, also a SaaS partner, what it means is that Happio is a solution that is specifically designed for companies that and organizations actually that are using Google G Suite. So we have deep and rich Google G Suite integrations and we collaborate with Google in a various way. So we get information from Google how to keep our integrations rich and valuable for our customers. Um, but also we collaborate, for example, when it comes to events and so on. So the next thing we are going is actually Google Next. So um, one of our customers, Randstad SourceWrite, is actually presenting how Happio and G Suite has changed the way they work internally. So exciting. Um, just a few customers who we work with. Um, so we work with customers from different industries, from different countries, just to maybe mention a few. Randstad SourceWrite uh, globally. Uh, BMW in the States, for example, JetBG, that is a big brand, uh, a big group behind brands like Zoopla and U-Switch in the UK, uh, Trimble, Rovio, and so on. I would say the companies are uh, from different industries, from different countries, but what is similar for these companies is that they usually have some kind of communications gaps internally because of, for example, the fact that they are geographically spread. So, for example, Randstad SourceWrite is based in Europe, in North America, and in APAC as well. Um, or they have different types of employees. For example, some employees are located in the headquarters, and some are located um, in manufacturing or something like that. that or, or in retail, you have uh, people who are in the shop front, and people who are in the headquarters. So there's there are gaps of communication because of different types of roles and how people work. So I would say what what is similar to all of our customers is that that they have these types of um, challenges when it comes to uniting people, and we are offering this digital platform to do so for them. Um, so. I said that we're trying to make people happier, but how? So what, what are the concrete actions we actually do? Um, so I will tell you a little bit about 
in a high level what we do, what kind of problems we solve. And I think in the end, I have saved some time to show you uh, a short demo of the Happio solution, because I know for, I don't think, has anybody actually seen Happio before? No. So I think it's usually interesting for people to actually see how it looks like. So I'll save some time for the demo, but I will first go through a little bit what, what we do in a high level, what kind of problems we solve and so on. So um, what I've talked to many people, uh, mainly who are in communications, who are in IT, uh, who are collaborating a lot in sales roles and so on. And what I've noticed that in general, people would like their workplace to be like this. So engaging, catered to their specific needs. They want the information to be easy to search. They want the communication and collaboration to be effortless, of course, mobile, visual, and so on. So these are the universal wishes of how we would love our workplace communication and collaboration to be. However, usually, in reality, we are still quite far away from it. So when people start describing how their internal communications really is and how they collaborate internally, uh, things like this come up. So we have an old internet, but it's really unengaging. Information in the old internet is not up to date. Um, the internet is difficult to search. We have maybe uploaded some documents to the internet, but they are old versions. So I don't even know if the information is correct. Um, our communication is not really interactive. There's no way for me to give feedback. Um, so in the end, what we do actually within our company, people say is that when there's an important announcement or important news, we actually send an email, which is something nobody wants to do nowadays, I think. So what we are doing within Happio, we are shifting this reality towards this. Are these problems or the wishes, are they familiar to you? Would you agree? Yeah, somewhat. Um, so how do we do this? So how do we shift this, this reality towards this? Is that I have three points. So first is that we bring the company info in one place. You might be wondering, what is the picture? Uh, it's my friend actually who, who was hiking in Lapland uh, last year. And I thought the picture is quite fitting that when you start like you go to your work, you are thinking that, hey, I have to find some onboarding information. In the worst case scenario, it might feel like this. So your journey to search that information is pretty foggy and you don't even know where to begin. Um, so what we do really is we bring all the company, all the internal information the employee needs um, to do his or her job, we bring it to one place that is integrated with your file storage that is integrated with your email that is integrated with your calendar and so on um, our portal has a powerful search so we think that ideally people in workplaces want to behave like they behave in their normal life so what do you do when you need to find an answer to a question you go to google and type it down so one of the key functions of Happio really is that powerful search bar that integrates also with your G Suite that um, if I'm looking for an onboarding material, I just go and type onboarding to that search bar like I would do in my private life and I won't have to go and click around within the site. And finally, we bring collaboration and communications into one place. So are there any people in the room who are internal communications professionals or who have done something related to internal communications? No. Yes? Perfect. So what we have found when we've talked with people who are in internal comms is that um, they oftentimes are not where the people are at. So people are at the collaboration apps. Maybe they're in chat. Maybe they are in the Google Docs. That's where they spent their time at. But internal comms is not there. So they're sending their message to email or they're sending their, they're writing their message to that old internet that nobody goes to. So 
the people who in the workplace would need the audience, they have no way to engage the audience. So we are actually bringing the people into Happio by having those collaboration functions there, by enabling the social there. So making the, the content engaging and then adding the internal comms there so they are actually in the same place where their audience is at. So that's the last point. So bringing collaboration and comms all in one. The second thing we do is we consumerize the workplace experience. I already mentioned that in my private life, if I need to search something, I go to Google and type it down. But also in my private life, if I want to send a message to my family, I maybe use WhatsApp to do that. If I want to uh, tell my network about, about something related to my work life, I go to LinkedIn, write a post about it if I want to reach a wider audience and so on. So it's really easy and it's seamless. And I think in our private lives, we already are very modern when it comes to communication and when it comes to collaboration. But somehow when we go to our work, our minds shift. We're like, no, work applications should be really complex. Otherwise, they're not powerful, right? So we are really trying to shift this mindset by trusting simplicity. So you might not be able to configure every single detail in Happio because we always put the user experience first compared to customization. We are making it easy for the employees to manage content without advanced tech skills. So I know that there are at least uh, a lot of people in the audience are from more of the technical side. Uh, I'm not sure if any one of you has been helping uh, your, uh, the employees internally with the internal applications. But what we hear a lot is that one of the reasons, or one of the key reasons intranets are not up to date is that the only people who have the skill set to keep the intranet update are at the IT department and they have 100 other things that are more important to do. So oftentimes, if you don't have at least a little bit of those web design skills or coding skills, um, you cannot actually update the internet. So in Happio, we are making the content creation and updating simple so that the business side of the organization can really quickly and easily keep the content they manage up to date. Because we think that, well, if there's a marketing information, probably the marketing people are the most, most knowledgeable people in the organization to, to manage the content and keep it up to date. So we're making it simple. And also, we are creating a great mobile experience. So again, in, our, in my private life, I'm probably using maybe 80% my phone, even for my work. I'm using a lot of, lot, lot of mobile, but also in my private life, I hardly use desktop anymore, except for watching Netflix in the train, like yesterday. Um, so we think that this is the way probably work life will be going towards. We're not yet there, at least based on the discussions I've had uh, with different companies. But I think definitely the role of mobile is gonna get bigger and bigger. And I think oftentimes people already read their emails through mobile. So a lot of the communications is already in the mobile world. So at Happio, one of the key things we wanted to do also is that to give that nice communications and collaboration experience, not only at your web application, but also in the native mobile application. So just to recap the three points, so, oh, I didn't go through the last point, sorry. Uh, okay, so the final thing is that we connect people. So we're a Finnish company and there, there used to be, or there still is one, one other big Finnish company, company that was committed to connecting people. And um, we do the same. So I think that's my last point of uh, three things that help people uh, help us to make people kind of um, happier at the workplace. So um, I chose two pictures to this uh, to tell you a little bit about our internal uh, environment at Happio. So this one is from Helsinki during the winter time, and this is Amsterdam during the winter time. 
and uh, both are taken by me. So that's my home street actually, and that's close to our office in Helsinki. And uh, just to tell you that at Happio, we have half of our staff is located in Helsinki, and half of our staff is located in Amsterdam. On top of that, half of our staff is very much so customer facing, probably a little bit less than half. So we are selling Happio, we are creating marketing plans, we are helping our customers to use our solution in a best way. So we are talking to the customers and partners in everyday basis. Well, a little bit more than a half of our staff is developing our product. And you can imagine that how vital it is for those people to know what the customers think. But still, we are located almost all of us in the different places. We have very different work habits. Uh, some of us need to focus on the computer almost uh, eight hours a day. And, and the customer facing people are basically in the meetings the whole day. So it's really extremely important for us internally, create a culture where there's a good communication flow, first of all, between those two geographic locations, so Amsterdam and Helsinki, but also between the roles that are fundamentally different, between the, the product development roles and between the customer facing roles that need to be very interlock interlocked. So, what we do at Happio with our solution is actually something that also helps us internally. So we really connect people who are geographically spread, who might be working remotely a lot, um, who have different roles and who are part of different departments and teams. And we also help our customers to find internal expertise. So not just finding internal information such as onboarding information or security information, but also finding the colleagues. So now I can go back and recap the three points. So we bring all your company information into one place. We consumerize the workplace communications and collaboration experience. And thirdly, uh, least but not, last but not least, we connect people internally. And uh, you might think that, hey, well, that's all really nice, but what is the real business value in this? Where's the money, so to say? And I just wanted to put this here because it's based on the research by McKinsey Global. And based on this, uh, companies can actually create, um, to raise productivity of their employees pretty much 20 to 25%, which is a huge number, um, by investing in social technologies that improve communication and collaboration. So where do these benefits actually come is by um, uh, less time managing email, searching and gathering information, then that communication and collaboration, so exactly that information flow that gets better between teams and geographic locations, and also, and also finding people faster. So if you need help, you can find your colleague faster than you, you used to. So, how does it look like? So, I think we still have some time to do a, a demo. I want to show you this Venn diagram before. So, what is Happio really is that we talk about intranet, but nowadays we talk a lot about digital workplace solution or internal comms and collaboration hub, because actually intranet is only one part of Happio, we think. So, Happio actually brings together uh, features from enterprise social networks, features from collaboration softwares, and also features from traditional and social intranets. So we think Happio is not just kind of like a static site, um, but it actually is something that connects a lot of your internal workplace apps. So before I go to the demo, do you already have any questions or thoughts? No? Um, yeah. I actually have a couple of questions. Uh, I was uh, preparing uh, um, you with uh, telling you I'll have some mean questions. Yeah. Um, I wanted to preserve them for the end. But uh, uh, one of the things that you were mentioning is um, a lot of work is done um, mobile today. Yeah. So uh, would you say Happio is a mobile first internet or is it rather a mobile second internet. Like um, mm. the linchpin solution that we've built is rather a, linchpin, uh, a, a mobile second solution mm. because 
most features are much more developed on yeah. the um, web front end. Uh, how would you see that for your solution? Yeah, a good question. Um, and I don't have a yes or no answer to this. Um, maybe I would also say that we are a mobile second at the moment. Um, however, from the start, when we started developing Happy, or when we only had a web app, so nowadays we have a native application for iOS and Android, but from the start, some of the things we did within Happy, or such as the navigation, were done because uh, we want, like how we did it was to optimize it for mobile. So some of the design we have done, even from the start, has been actually kind of mobile first. Um, but um, that said, uh, our web application still, of course, has mm -hmm. more functionality in it. However, we're getting to the point where our mobile application has some functionalities our web doesn't mm -hmm. because they make sense for the mobile and they don't make sense for the web. So um, our goal is definitely at least to have them in the same kind of line. Yeah, and the, the second question is probably the MENA one. Um, we did have... Uh, Loom apps, which is also an yeah. internet solution based on G Suite, um, here present their solution. Yeah. How would you differentiate your Happio solution from what Loom apps does? Um, yeah. Is it better? <laughs> A good question. Not mean at all, because we get this question often. Because if you know the G Suite intranet market at all, uh, there's it's it's a very uh, small market, so the options are very limited. So there are only actually two solutions, I think, I believe, or maybe three in the market that are very nicely integrated with G Suite. So we, I oftentimes get this question, and I would say that our focus points are quite different. So uh, Lumaps is focusing, to my mind, Lumaps is focusing more on the static internet part, whereas Happio has a lot bigger social and collaboration focus. So. I don't know if this is true, but so, uh, once I heard somebody describing it that uh, Lumaps kind of started uh, replacing Google Sites, whereas Happio wanted to replace Google Plus. And that's maybe not completely true, but I think the, the kind of the vision is really nicely described there. So we put a lot of effort on the social and collaboration part, and that's really what we believe is a Happio uh, differentiator. Thanks. Thanks. Great questions. Perfect. So I've talked about a lot what we do, how we make the workplace a lot better, and uh, and what are our kind of values and vision. But I'm sure you'd like to actually see how it looks like and what I actually mean mean with this. So I'll jump to the um, demo environment right away. So I will just show you basically the highlights of Happio. So I just jumped into our demo environment, and just to kind of mention in the beginning that. Uh, Happio is kind of a mix between out of the box and customization. So for our customers, they can customize the name of the portal, the colors, the brands. If they want, they can actually build their own landing page. So even though I'm showing you this today, um, for our customers, if you talk to uh, Rovio, if you talk to uh, Assets or Ramsat Sourceright, their portals might look completely different. Uh, one funny example is that uh, Rovio, which is the company behind Angry Birds, they actually call their Happio portal Feather. So they probably, if you talk to an employee, they might not even know what are you talking about if you refer to Happio. Um, so in Happio, we have three different kind of parts in it. I was talking about that we bring all the company information into one place. So Happio basically has three parts in it. So channels, pages, and people sections. Channels is where you can find all those company news, as well as your social and collaboration from one uh, kind of modern, easy and simple to use place. So compared to private life social media, we basically have two streams here at the activity stream homepage, where you can see at the right side news that are my news, so they're targeted specifically to me. So today I'm actually Richard, at the demo environment, and Richard would be located in Frankfurt. So Richard can see Frankfurt news as well as the company news. But if he was located in Helsinki, the view could be completely different. So one of the things that we want to make, uh, we want to improve in the workplace communication is definitely targeting. So people are interested 
in the messages that are specifically relevant to them based, based on their location, based on their role and so on. So in Happio, instead of putting out news that are generic to everybody, you can actually target news in a very specific way. My stream is a summary of all the updates that are specific to me as Richard. So I'm part of the management team. I can see the management team uh, updates. I can see East Coast sales team updates and some part of it and so on. Um, pages is the more um, kind of the internet part that we are used to, I think. Uh, so more traditional internet part in Happio. So in the pages, you can build any kind of internal site um, that basically has more static information in it. So oftentimes, what our customer use the pages for is definitely um, sharing HR uh, updates, sharing security information, sharing anything that is more static and they don't need to up update every day. Um, so channels and pages. I was talking about G Suite earlier and how we are very integrated with G Suite. So this probably interests you. How does it show in Happio? Well, first of all, uh, when you log into Happio, uh, you can actually log in with your G Suite credentials. So after you have installed Happio, Happio is just one of your Google apps in your Google Apps navigation. Um, you actually use your G Suite login credentials to log in, so you don't need any other uh, any other sign-on. And thirdly, uh, how does Happio know that Richard is uh, located in that Frankfurt office? How does Happio know what information, what content is relevant to share to him? is that we share information via Google Groups. So what it means for the administrator of this type of a portal is that if you have Google G Suite, what you do is basically you have a new person onboarding, you just create them um, a profile in G Suite, you give them an email, you add them to the right Google Groups, and when they come to Happio for the first time, all the relevant content is already shared with them. So why our customers really, really like Happio is that it actually reduces the amount of administration you need to do. So I was talking about uh, channels and pages. So channels being the kind of social hub, the news hub within the organization, and pages being the traditional internet part. Um, the third section I'd like to show, it, show you is the people section. So basically you can find anyone from Happio based on their title, based on their skill, um, based on their location, for example. And again, all this info syncs from your Google. So again, you don't need to have uh, a person who's separately keeping this up to date, but we actually take the information from your existing system and just push it to Happio via the integration. So things you can see in here is, for example, person schedule via Google Calendar, you can get in touch with them and so on. So Happio is very much so interlinked with your G Suite environment and also very easy to implement because a lot of the information is already coming from your G Suite. In Happio, I think one of the biggest differentiators is that how you communicate is actually through social. So we use so-called channels or communities for sharing news as well as sharing social things. What is the benefit of it is that instead of writing, creating a new site, uh, you actually can make bite-sized updates with news posts. So for communications, it means you might write a news post like this, or if you need to write a longer article, it might look something like this. So really fast, agile, interactive, uh, people get push notifications to their mobile phones when the new news piece has been published. But I always like to show when I'm talking at the Google events, what of course interests people and is kind of a fun, fun little feature is that we also have, for example, a Google Translate integration. So it means that if you have a global organization, people are based in different countries, have different uh, languages, maybe your um, company language is English, but Maybe in Germany, your employee likes to still use the Google Translate and just quickly translate the news pieces. And finally, so I showed you just quickly the channels, pages and people. So we really bring the information in one place. What I was talking a lot during my presentation was also the search. So everything within Happio is fully searchable. So if 
I remember that, hey, somebody posted a good news post maybe last year. I can filter it through the dates. I can filter it through an author, uh, the channel it was in an attachment. So um, Happio is fully searchable. We have powerful filters that are basically based on your environment. So the filters would be different depending how your portal looks like. And finally, we are also uh, integrated fully with your Google G Suite. So when I was saying that, oftentimes how we would like to work is really that if I have a question in my head, if I'm looking for a certain, certain material, in my private life, I go to Google and, and search it. In work life, you will go to Happio and search it. And no matter if it's a file, maybe it's located in your Google Drive, or no matter if it's uh, an intranet page, you can find it by using the same search. So I showed you kind of a brief overview of Happio Portal. One more thing I'd like to show you is just how integrated we are with G Suite. So this is probably the biggest Happio differentiator. So I was saying that we are really focused on social and collaboration. And we encourage that instead of just having news channel and social channel, um, our customers should also use Happio channels for collaboration for projects and so on. And how we support that is that um, actually the Happio integrations with Google Files is so deep that you can actually start even editing Happio, uh, uh, Google Files within Happio. Um, so this slide deck is still located in your Google Drive. It's not stored in Happio, but as an employee, I can make my edits within Happio or choose to go to Drive. So basically everything you can do with files in Drive, you can also do in here. So it's really portal also for working with your colleagues, for remote teams, for project groups and so on. Okay, I know we have a limited amount of time today, so that was a quick um, introduction of Happio, a quick demo of Happio. I think the last slide I'd like to show you and kind of end the presentation with is just a short kind of a case study. So one of our customer, public customer references is Randstad SourceRide, that is a part of Randstad Holding, a very global organization um, inside Randstad. They have around 3,000, a little bit more than 3,000 employees now. They went to Happio, I think, pretty much one year ago exactly. And they've had had multiple different systems before. And what, what was their biggest problem is was that their current internet really wasn't engaging people. They had no visibility globally on how engaged people were, what they were talking about. It was hard to connect teams that were, for example, uh, half would be located in North America and half in Europe, just because of the time difference as well. Um, so, Ransat Source, right, they do a lot of remote work, but they didn't really want to be an organization when people feel far away from each other. They wanted to have a digital organization, a digital community that would bring those remote people together. And that's why they chose Happio. They actually called their Happio Society, so they named it themselves. And within um, around six months, a little bit more than six months' time, they were able to uh, increase their adoption rate. So how many time? Uh, so how many people visit the portal at least once a week? So once or more, uh, from forty percent uh, to around ninety-three percent. Um, the biggest benefits of Ransat definitely have been the sense of community they've created between the different geographic locations, increased visibility on communications. So, what in, so this is the first time they actually know what interests people and what not. And one of the things they have as a customer focused the most is really measuring the impact. So they've used the uh, analytics um, function quite a bit. So... I think that was my uh, short introduction to Happio. I hope you learned, some new, uh, lear learned something new. And uh, uh, if you have any questions, should we go them through now or later? What do you think, Max? Uh, I think later is better. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> OK, well, thank you very much. <laughs>